ಓಂ ಗಣಪತೇ ನಮಃ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಐ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ನೌ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಸಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೆ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜಂ ವಂದೇ ಶುಕತಾತಂ ತಪೋ ನಿಧಿ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ not literally 60000 buddhist literature use 500 for everything then a king visited 500 prostitutes no one takes a meaning literally in this way even tamil also used pun the word pun 16000 pun most of gifts even today brahmin marriages where the class is going or they used to say pun laksham katti varahan padinaram betr palandu valha like this when thousands or hundreds of years elapse people lose their original meaning of those idioms and phrases and start taking literal meaning therefore we have to analyze in this regard otherwise <coughs> modern day youths with their scientific bent of mind and background ridiculed these things as a pigment of imagination let us reinterpret our puranas carefully we should not confuse the already confused hindu youths the westerners made very big chaos by wrong interpretations you take any one's date like kalidasa or the date of vedas or the origin of tamils you can't find the exact date but in western countries they used to mention their dates at first they used to give their autobiography at first later only they used to explain they used to give the details what they want to say what they want to propagate but in in, in indian culture we can't find such a things so easily given Indian students are still reading books written by westerners but printed with new wrappers only the old history books by smith even has a picture of brahmins with aboriginals when you come indus script dis- uh, deciphered deciphered many scholars and amateurs are trying to decipher the indus script without any success so far if we look at it from a new angle perhaps we may succeed from the very beginning people who have excavated past on their personal opinion without allowing scholars to interrupt it since no rosetta stone is available for indus valley civilization and so everyone's decipherment remains as speculation when one seal is interpreted with a set of rules the same rules must be followed for interpreting other seals as well 
no one has succeeded in it they get stuck up somewhere even we accept that the invading orient destroyed the indus civilization we must have something aryan there the aryan gods the aryan culture etc so what i think that the indus people were following different gods and cultures there may be two different systems even diametrically opposite most interesting thing is that on top of the elephant is a wheel symbol the name of the vedic god indra in the vedas is chakra naming or meaning wheel his vehicle is elephant airavatha if the figure is a woman it may be indrani wife of indra one other hindu god associated with the wheel of lord vishnu but during age old days he was not the popular in other seals a motor and pestle symbol is always put together with three vertical lines this mitra seal is always accompanied by some fish signs fishes are devas according to great sanskrit poet kalidasa both of them don't close their eyes even during sleep so all the fish symbols are used to symbolize gods and devas in hindu and other ancient religious god appear as fish they may be interpretation or they may be interpreted as agni vayu yama varuna and other devas depending upon the strokes lines etc when we come across dashavatara it is symbolized and with darwin hopefully see it many of us have noticed the similarity between darwin's theory of education and 10 avatars lord vishnu matsya kurma varaha narasimha vamana parashurama rama balarama or buddha krishna and kalki avatars are called with the life in the sea amphibians land animals half man half animal semi civilized state then full grown intelligent man this is a reflection of darwin's theory of evolution brahmos missile test free <coughs> brahmos missile you might have heard nobody in, in the world. ancient days even we are using the word present days also this is one of the powerful weapon brahmastra we can say that test fire one indian scholar explains the varaha avatara as follows one is reminded of the meaningful story full of highly relevant symbolism from our puranas Center, uh, centered uh, around in the incarnation of lord vishnu as the boar to restore the mother earth that had lifted and slipped into depth of the sea the moral is when human beings become oblivious of their responsibilities consequent on their interconnectedness and interdependence god almighty incarnates as yagnavaraha symbol of the 
principle of sacrifice. When our actions become self-oriented and disjointed, breaking the natural interrelatedness, truth gets devalued and there is a at the uh, Adivaraha comes to remind man of the urgency to remind the sense of sacrifice into his actions, raising them into yajnas so that harmony and strength are restored as also the balance. Ancient Indian education system. Ancient Indian universities like Nalanda, Takshashila, Vikrama, etc. shone. What world class was? Long before universities of other countries had been established. Nalanda University had eight separate compounds, ten temples, meditation halls, classrooms, lakes and parks. It had a, a nine-story library <clears throat> where monks meticulously copied books and documents so that individual scholars could have their own collections. It had dormitories for students, perhaps a first for an educational institution, housing 10,000 students in the university's heyday and providing accommodation for 2,000 professors. Nalanda University attracted pupils and scholars from Korea, Japan, China, Tibet, Indonesia, Persia and Turkey. The famous treatise Artha Shastra by Chanukya is said to have been composed in Takshasila itself. Chanukya, the name you better have heard. The Maurya Emperor Chandragupta and the Ayurvedic healer Charakas studied at Takshasila. Generally, a student entered Takshasila at the age of 16. The Vedas and 18 arts which included skills such as archery, hunting and elephant lore were taught in addition to its law school, medical school and school of military science. Other centers of excellence were Odantapuri in Bihar, Sumapura in Bangladesh, Jagaddala in Bengal, Nagarjunakonda in Andhra Pradesh, Vikramasila in Bihar, Sharada Peet Varanasi in UP, Kanchipuram in Tamil Nadu, Manya Kheta in Karnataka, <coughs> Pushpagiri and Ratnagiri in Orissa. Let us have the theory of time dilation. If a 16-year-old person travels at the speed of light, that person will be Markandeya forever. We came to know this fact only after the greatest physicist of our times, Albert Einstein, gave us the theory of reality. But there is a story in our Puranas about Arjuna's travel to Swarga in Indra's chariot, driven by his driver, Matali. When Arjuna came back to earth, he saw people more aged than he expected. When he asked for explanation, scholars told him that the time on earth was 
different from the time of the place he visited. Even now, uh, we read in the Puranas about Deva's day, Manu's day and Brahma's day. They have different duration. No other religion in the world described time this way. So that's a great. The concept of time and the way we use adjectives like Surya Koti Samaprabha, light equivalent to million suns, show that our forefathers were aware of the modern concepts. Now, futurology and nuclear winter. Vanaparva Mahabharata describes the end of the world. It says how Kal uh, the world will end at the end of Kali Yuga. It says that all the plants will be aligned in a single line. It also describes the climate changes at the time. One can't miss the similarity between the nuclear winter happened in the aftermath of a nuclear explosion. What? Nuclear explosion and the changed climate. Before reading about the nuclear winter, we may think the epic describes some natural catastrophe. Now, it is very clear that they describe only the nuclear winter. Let us have some discussion biology in Tamil. There is a proverb in Tamil. Pulikku pirandadu punayaguma. Will a cub born to a tiger be a cat? The modern geological classification says that both the animals belong to the same cat family. Is it? Even the oldest Tamil book, Tolkapiam, classifies all the living beings in six group. Now, Brahmasra, I mean a nuclear missile. What is enough to destroy everything? Whenever the use of Brahmasra is mentioned in our scriptures, the devastation it caused was also described in detail. They allowed it to use only once. That too, only a last result. When they gave the reason for it, they said that it kills the good and bad together and the other living beings also. When we compare this with other weapons of Mahabharata period, such as the Shakti missile used by Karna, and Nagastra, Pashupatatra, etc. It is very different from them. When <coughs> Ashwadhamma and Arjuna released their Brahmasra, Krishna foreseeing the end of the world by such terrible weapons, asked both to recall their weapons. <laughs> When last Krishna had to use his power to save the child in the womb of Uttara by using his special powers. Now, Bhagiratha as a great engineer. The story of the descent of river Ganges to the earth through Bhagiratha, who lived several thousand year penance, it is nothing but a marvelous engineering feat. Three decades also when engineers wanted to build a dam across river Nile in Egypt, they removed the Mazu Abu symbol status 
from the banks of the river from the, the bomb in explosion diverted at the river nile the story of bagiratha bringing river ganges to the earth clearly says that savara at his four fathers also tried and failed in the mission that is to say several kings tried to devote the ganges which was running mostly on the himalayan mountain but failed bagiratha with great ingenuity diverted the river by breaking certain point in which the himalaya and the mighty river described to the present gangetic plains of north india we must remember several thousand years ago there were uh, no people on the gangetic points or gangetic plains this is what we read as the descent of the river from the sky to the earth population slowly spread eastwards from the indus plains so we may call bagiratha the greatest engineer of the ancient world did agastya drink ocean <coughs> Agastya was one of the greatest travelers of ancient India. He was mentioned in the Rigveda and the Ramayana. He slowly moved southwards and established an ashram at the Western Ghats. There are lot of myths about him. All this can be explained scientifically. He did divert the river kaveri to the present chola mandalam like bagiratha but in thousands of years it became a myth and we read a crude title that kamandalam of agastya and thus came river kaveri another story told about agastya is that he traveled to the south at the behest of lord shiva it is true that either shiva or saivet saint requested him to go to the south to disperse the population the story of shiva's tirukalyanam makes it clear by saying the overcrowding of the earth tilted the balance and shiva requested agastya to go southward our four fathers were such a great planners that they did what we are doing today building satellite cities the story is in tiruvalayadal puranam and other books Agastya was the first person to cross the Indian Ocean for the first time to establish a great Hindu empire in Southeast Asia. We now knew that there was a flourishing Hindu colony in Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia. Singapore and Indonesia for 1300 years now they are all converted as muslims like columbus and magellan he crossed the ocean that is he drank the ocean it is a symbolic story agastya statue or displayed throughout southeast asian countries even today 
miracle or solar eclipse on the 14th day of the 8th day mahabharata war arjuna vowed that he would kill jayadratha before sunset or commit suicide unfortunately arjuna could not kill him but the story is that krishna created false using his sudarshana chakra if we look closely at this events it is nothing but a solar eclipse the sunlight faded for sometimes because of the eclipse when all prepared for the withdrawal of the army for the day the sun came out and arjuna killed the unguarded jayadratha in those days they didn't fight after sunset human mind has amazing powers but many of us do not realize this our epics and puranas illustrate the power of mind with beautiful stories every person creates some kind of vibration some people are pleasure to be with they seem to have a certain energy that they share with others then there are those who are negative and depressed them seem to draw energy out of others the reason for this is that there is a power contained in thought it is very subtle yet it does not it does exist in the is extremely powerful every thought has a weight shape size form color quality and power and experienced yogi can see this directly with his inner eye just as an apple can be given to your friend or taken back so also it is possible to give a useful powerful thought to someone and take it back nothing wrong many of us know that we are that we eat but only a few people know we are what we think lord krishna in bhagavad gita says let a man lift himself by himself let him not degrade himself for the self alone is the friend of the self and self alone is the enemy of the self india through its prosperous cultural heritage and rich history has witnessed the rise and fall of several great dynasties which is a conspicuous through the greatness and ancient indian architecture the magnificence of these buildings monuments bridges forts halls mosques are fully comprehend in the glorious periods through which indian has passed kailasa temple at ellora caves a structural engineering wonder reminiscent of the prowess of the ancient of 8th century india the kalidasa temple is a part of the rock new monastic cave the temple and complete the world famous ellora caves this massive temple structure is believed is also known as the prince the temple of the mother and is the edifice of spiritual significance but to yoga and meditation enthusiasts matri mandira is a gigantic spherical structure built with 12 great pipes are petals and shining golden 
and enhance the domes brilliant radiance it is said that it took 37 entire years to construct a spectacular beings before it was finally made open to the public mahatma gandhi setu and in bihar we all know mahatma gandhi father of nation settled very well but mahatma gandhi setu is an excellent example of your cantilever segmental construction in indian architecture this bridge connects patna to hastinapur in bihar across the river ganges spanning our length of more than few knowledge or few kilometers it is the country's third longest bridge the mahabharata gandhi setu bridge was opened for public use in the year 1982 the bridge has two lower lanes one upstream and another downstream on 17th august 2007 the indian postal department issued a commemorative postage stamp economical or true postage stamp landmark bridges of india featuring the mahatma gandhi setu finally let us have a conversation with taj mahal here taj mahal comes as no surprise that the taj mahal is established here well you cannot talk about the indian architecture and not mention it this is stunning 17th century white marble structure as one around mural scenario this stunning 17th century right marble structure was built by mughal emperor shah jahan as a mausoleum mausoleum for his late wife mumtaz mahal shri kanta kalyana nade nade dram shri venkata nivasa shri nivasa mangalam mangala sahasra bhayamada jara bhogami sarvaesha urvai rasare sarkrutaya stumangalam